This guy is Sherman. He's my green anaconda. Really almost. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. He's definitely excited. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is so cold here in Cleveland, and of course, I'm here without a coat on. Real smart, right? Well, I'm gonna head over to Scales and Tails to do one last quick look at their awesome animals before I head back to the shop and get back to BHB. I actually have a pretty interesting surprise that I'm gonna share with you guys as soon as I get back. But regardless, I hope that you guys have an amazing day. What do you say we go check out some really cool animals and just have an awesome time? Go ahead in the comments and let me know what you guys think so far of this day and while you're down there can you smash that like button what do you say we get on the road I get a little bit warm and we get this day started so I'm back at scales and tails and what the heck this is so cool this is a patias right this is a patias mucosa and this thing is a big colubrid you know these guys kind of remind me a little bit of the Kribos how they have those really big scales almost look like cobras and uh, they're definitely long and lanky and uh, it looks like they're lightning quick I mean these things are awesome these are the preferred food of king cobras really these are what they love Love to eat where they come from. Oh my gosh. And for those of you guys that don't know, king cobras are literally king cobras because they eat other snakes. And although a lot of king cobras in captivity will kind of revert to re eating rodents, the truth is, is that in the wild they are almost exclusively snake eaters. And apparently this poor guy here would not want to run into a king cobra, which happens to be my favorite snake, by the way. But that thing is crazy. Look at how cool it is. And the thing about Patias is a lot of people say that they're an extremely intelligent snake. And you said that they vocalize, huh? They do. Not just a hiss, but I've literally heard these guys make like a barking sound before. It's really cool. They're so visually oriented. They just, they use their eyes so well. And it's such a responsive snake. I love them. And again, I think the thing that's really cool is places like Scales and Tails have things like these patias here. You're never gonna see that in a normal pet shop. So that is freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys know that I love this snake here. What is up with this guy? This guy is Sherman. He's my green anaconda. Oh my gosh, he is really beautiful too. He's like super light, you know, he's not that like dark green. He's really almost like, whoa, Sherman, what's up, buddy? You like, he actually, I swear to God, I guarantee you he saw that little fuzzy thing on top That's of my exactly camera and he's like oh there's <laughs> so be careful don't get bit Sherman would definitely hurt a little bit oh my gosh he is, so how old is Sherman he's three years old three years old and again males are gonna stay much smaller than females so he's never gonna get that big 15 foot big girthy animal so he's probably perfect size but they are he's probably got a pretty good squeeze on you right now doesn't he oh not too bad not actually too bad. Oh. usually pretty relaxed so oh, that's awesome he's oh, usually pretty relaxed as he strikes at our face he's like what is up with that fuzzy oh my gosh that is so awesome and again you know the thing the reason i asked Brittany about that kind of you know was he hanging on is because sometimes they can really squeeze they are really powerful snakes when it comes to that but uh he's just kind of hanging on saying all right you're like a branch and stuff like that so uh this is really cool and again like i mentioned yesterday you can follow Brittany at reptile girl on instagram please check it out and you'll see more pictures of Sherman and all kinds of other animals, right? That's right. Well, the other thing that I'm picking up, but I'm not taking it home. Remember my friend Ben and Lorenzo, they picked up those Waggler's Vipers? Take a look at that right there. Well, he's getting another one right now. So these guys are absolutely incredible. Look at how beautiful it is. Oh my gosh, that thing is crazy. And of course, these are front fang venomous, so you don't wanna get hit by them. They don't have a really heavy toxin, but they certainly have some toxin that will definitely hurt you. And again, sometimes these guys are called temple vipers uh, because they are very prevalent around certain temples in Southeast Asia. Oh my gosh, they are absolutely incredible. Let's take a closer look at this guy here. Take a look at that right there. Oh my gosh. Is that thing crazy? I love Waggler Vipers. And Ben, he said, hey, if you're going there, can you do me a favor and pick this one up for me? And of course, I'm gonna say, yeah, why not? So uh, we're gonna pack him up and get him on the road here in a minute. Let's take a look at a couple other things before I get on the road, because it's about a three and a half hour drive, and I do wanna get back to the shop and see what's going on there tonight before it's too late. Okay, so Jessica is gonna be really surprised. Just before I left, she said, Brian, can you get some Chinese cave geckos? And of course, I was gonna reach out to someone and get them, and guess what, they had them here. So I'm picking up four of these little monkeys right there. They are so cute. Jessica is gonna be so happy. Uh, now she better not sell any more of my favorite geckos on me like she did last time, but uh, aren't these things absolutely cool? They're kind of like leopard geckos in a way, but of course they are kept a little bit cooler uh, and they don't get quite as big, but they are super cool. Oh, again, another animal that you're not gonna see probably in any other pet shop that I know anyway. Of course, this is a Papuan python. These guys are absolutely amazing animals. And I love the fact that it, they're just 
slightly different than the normal kind of olive python. They look really similar, but their heads are completely different. They have that more classic python look, whereas olive pythons from Australia have almost like a, a straight head, so they're not as defined. And these guys have that incredible heat pits, and they get pretty large, but it's the iridescence that make these animals so incredible. I absolutely love these guys to death. I tell you what, guys, I don't want to leave, but I do have to get on the road because I have to get back to BHB and see what's going on here. Oh, she's giving me a pretty good hug here. So let's go ahead and get her back in her cage and get on the road for that three and a half hour drive. And I am back here at BHB, and like I mentioned, I have a kind of cool surprise that I'm super excited to share with you guys. But first, I am going to talk to Jessica. Where is Jessica? Guess what, Jessica? I've got a surprise for you. Oh, do you? Yes. I brought you a oh few things. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I oh just got God. a couple of, and of course, these are those Chinese cave geckos that I got in oh, scales and tails. Look at the heads on these ones. I those know, are so cute? orange. Look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they're so, so pretty. So bright. Oh I know. my God. Aren't they cool? So I ended up getting two little babies and two kind of bigger mm -hmm. ones that I think is a pair. I'm not 100% sure. Look how cute oh, they cool. are. I guess so. <laughs> So I wanted to surprise you with that. They had them. I was like, I've got to get them for Jessica because Jessica just works with... Thank you so much. <laughs> we're going to get more too. I promise we're going to get more. Anyway, surprise on that. Surprise number one for Jessica. And then I'm about to show you guys the next surprise. The animal I picked up in Ohio that I am super excited about. So you guys ready? Okay, let's go. So you are certainly asking yourself, what is this big surprise, Brian? And why are you carrying Speedy around? Because... Is that part of the surprise? Wait a second, uh, what do you think? Uh, wait, what? 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 <laughs> That's right guys, I want to introduce you to Savannah. Savannah is Speedy's new girlfriend and we're going to introduce him and see what happens. I have no high clue what's going on. I first want to thank Nicolette and her whole family for entrusting me with Savannah here. Savannah has actually been their pet for 10 plus years and they love her to death. They needed to find a new home because they just didn't have the time or space to take care of her anymore and they entrusted me to introduce Speedy to his new girlfriend Savannah. How freaking awesome is that? So what do you guys say we put him down and just see what Speedy thinks? I have no idea how this is going to go, so let's go ahead and see what happens. Speedy, guess what? Meet Savannah, Speedy. Oh, Speedy, look it. It's Savannah. What do you guys think? I have no idea what they're thinking. <laughs> what are you guys doing? I tell you what, guys, I think we're just going to go ahead and let see what happens. I'm going to watch them for a while, and uh, of course, we got Speedy Cam on. We're going to have to get Savannah Cam now, too, so we're going to see what happens. Actually, that would be kind of cool. We can have, like, dueling tortoise cameras, and they could just be cruising around the room. So uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> lifting himself up he's like putting his nose to her it's not out of aggression at all he's definitely very interested uh, he's also peeing all over the place I'm not 100% sure what's going on but she seems a little bit freaked out I think Savannah it's a lot for her you know she's moved to a new environment now she's probably seen the male for the very first time she's definitely a little bit freaked out but he is so into it I mean he just look at him he just keeps putting his nose right to her nose like they just keep button noses like little Eskimo kisses for tortoises <laughs> it is the cutest thing I've ever seen I feel a little bit bad for Savannah because she's a little bit stressed out but I think she's gonna be fine when she kind of gets into the mowing things but speedy here you could tell he's he's in love I think I think Speedy's in love <laughs> this is so freaking cute oh my gosh <laughs> I swear it's almost like he's got a face expression like he's super happy he's like oh my god I see a girl oh my gosh that is so cool let's just leave him alone see what happens and hopefully Savannah chills out because I want her to be happy here I think she will be. I don't know. It seems like Speedy definitely seems to like Savannah a lot. She's very nervous, but it is pretty cute the way he just keeps wanting to look right into her face. Like, it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I think Speedy is moving a little too fast. Like, with the peeing thing, that's more of a third date kind of thing. <laughs> don't put that in there. <laughs> that, that's going in there. <laughs>
Okay, so uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what to say about this. First off, I want to apologize to poor Savannah here because uh, Speedy didn't waste any time. Uh, Kelsey, what date was that? <laughs> <laughs> So regardless, uh, he got the wrong end, and this is, I guess, just the process. We're gonna have to definitely keep an eye on him and make sure that he doesn't stress her out. But they certainly, at least, were getting along, I suppose, but we're definitely gonna separate Savannah out so she can get settled in a little bit without Speedy just harassing her constantly. So, sorry, kids, that wasn't exactly a kid-friendly show, so <laughs> there you have it, our new girl, Savannah. <laughs> Speedy is definitely having the time of his life. So there you have it, uh, my new girl Savannah. Again, we'll get her acclimated, make sure that she has plenty of time away from Speedy so he doesn't harass her too much. But regardless, I am so excited to finally have two of them, a pair, and this summer they can go outside and they can play all summer long in the backyard. They will absolutely love it. And again, Speedy is just a little overzealous right now because he's never seen another tortoise like her. So he's just super excited. Uh, and when I say excited, uh, yeah, he's definitely excited, <laughs> regardless. Oh my gosh. All right, let's move on and let's go ahead and get Savannah some time away from Speedy. All right, so RJ the other day got a pond makeover, but Jessica, look at Bella. Oh, you're such a cutie. Jessica gave her a little Christmas bandana. How oh, awesome, you're such a cutie, girl. Oh my gosh. You're She's so ready for nice. Christmas now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, all the animals here are festive. That is awesome. I just love it. You know, a bunch of you people asked about Bella. You're like, do you do Bella's cage? But we're actually going to do a really big enclosure next door for Bella pretty soon. So we're not going to redo her cage. But I am so happy that she has a bandana now. That is awesome. Welcome to Christmas. So there it is, guys. Savannah is all settled in. Bella is looking festive. And it's been an absolutely amazing day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. And I hope that you have an absolutely incredible evening, night, morning, whatever it happens to be when you're watching this. Your support means the world to me, and I love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button, as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody today, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow.